The Impact of Fintech Revolution on Banking and Its Benefits Any technological advancement in the financial industry is referred to as fintech. Encompassing improvements created for the back end of reputable financial institutions and disruptive technologies created by new businesses or individuals. Fintech firms have received praise for boosting competition in the finance sector, providing fresh options for underserved consumers and enterprises, including those with low credit scores in small businesses, and fostering innovation through greater IT spending. The primary purpose of banks is in the financial system. Banks, as we all know, are essential to the smooth operation of the financial sector. They collect money, pool it, and then use it to lend it to those who are now in need of money. Banks ensure the stability and flow of money in the economy by converting assets and liabilities, such as deposits, into loans and mortgages, and by offering transactional services. Fintech is appending the liquidity market and giving banks a serious competitor. Finding investors and attracting significant sums of money is a pretty simple process for emerging fintech. Fintech allows for greater flexibility and offers several cutting-edge credit and payment options, including blockchain, peer-to-peer -peer lending, decentralized crowdfunding platforms, etc. Traditional banking is subject to many tight rules and complaints for its cumbersome bureaucracy because they can create ecosystems that feel natural to users and are suited to their needs. Fintech solutions offer a lot of promise for fostering the creation of new banking products and services as well as the enhancement of already existing ones. Fintech products, which are backed by cutting-edge technologies and investor capital, can help. Banks reach emerging markets, open and manage more savings in current accounts, and more, while also speeding up transactions and lowering their costs. Traditional banking is just unable to compete with such a well-funded and very effective rival. The public's level of trust in banks and their proximity to their Clients in the physical world are the only advantages that banks still have against fintech. What distinguishes fintech from conventional banking? Innovation is one of the most obvious distinctions between traditional and fintech. Due to the lengthy existence of traditional banking systems, change seldom occurs rapidly. Compare this to fintech, which uses modern technology like cloud computing and artificial intelligence to build new goods and services. Fintech will also increase the efficiency of financial procedures through automation. Traditional banks frequently rely on manual human intervention in their procedures, which adds time and expense and frequently requires numerous personnel. Fintech businesses can streamline the process by automating it using tools like machine learning, ML, or a robo-advisor. Due to its longevity and lengthy history of success, some may argue that traditional banking is more secure than fintech alternatives. However, many fintech businesses are backed by the biggest digital corporations in the world. Stripe, for example, has investors like Elon Musk, giving them access to the most recent security protocols and money. The truth is that banks can simply follow their lead and incorporate new technology and services into their operation rather than engaging in competition with fintech service providers. Fintech and traditional banks can be combined to create branchless, omni-channel banking that uses numerous digital tools to stay in touch with customers and relies less on physical locations to run. Traditional banking is now facing competition from the fintech revolution, which banks might exploit to enhance their offerings. The adoption of fintech solutions by banks and the discovery of common ground for collaboration with fintech companies. To make that happen, however, the financial sector should also focus on addressing widespread issues brought on by onerous regulations for banks and the regulatory arbitrage practiced by some fintech companies. What benefits does fintech offer? In the end, fintech aims to simplify and improve your financial life. And it can do more for you than just that. Fintech has numerous advantages for both customers and companies, including the following. In the end, fintech aims to simplify and improve your financial life. And it can do more for you than just that. Fintech has numerous advantages for both customers and companies, including the following. Convenience and ease of use, thanks to chatbot technology and fintech, you can now pay your 
bills, set up direct deposit, start a bank transfer, and more without having to spend hours on hold. Accessibility, fintech offers previously unavailable possibilities for financial transactions and services to persons who reside in remote locations or have disabilities. Security, to shield individuals against fraud, fintech offers additional security measures. Savings, by tying users' credit card accounts and bank accounts together, fintech apps enable customers to save money. There are three primary types of fintech. Three types of fintech businesses can be identified, those that offer financial services, infrastructure, and technology. Companies that directly arrange transactions between buyers and sellers are those that provide financial services. These are conventional financial services, but a bank is not involved. Several well-known examples are Robinhood, SoFi, Betterment, PayPal, and Venmo. Platforms are provided by infrastructure service providers so that buyers and sellers can connect and conduct transactions independently. Businesses can take digital payments in person or online thanks to companies like Alipay, Apple Pay, and Google Wallet, which offer payment processing services. Those who offer loans or insurance, like LendingTree or Lemonade Insurance Company, are examples of other infrastructure providers. For example, Visa's V.me Digital Wallet or MasterCard's biometric authentication feature, which enables customers to use fingerprint identification instead of entering a PIN code when checking out in person or online, are examples of technologies that technology companies are developing for all industry participants to use, Sousa et al., 2016. Monetary Trends any company that employs technology to enhance financial services, including mobile banking or digital wallets, is known as a fintech company. Fintech is receiving a lot of funding at the moment, and businesses are spending a lot of time and money coming up with innovative strategies to make accessing finance simpler, faster, and less expensive. Blockchain any company that employs technology to enhance financial services, including mobile banking or digital wallets, is known as a fintech company. Fintech is receiving a lot of funding at the moment, and businesses are spending a lot of time and money coming up with innovative strategies to make accessing finance simpler, faster, and less expensive. Banks' desire to eliminate the intermediary, the bank, in some payments is one of the primary reasons they are investing so much in fintech. For instance, users can utilize their computers or smartphone instead of transferring money through a bank's system. By doing this, they regain some control over their funds, but banks also lose some of that power. Additionally, emerging technologies like blockchain and artificial intelligence may fundamentally alter how we handle our money and how we make purchases, thus fintech. Companies will receive even more funding in the years to come. Machine Learning and AI Forbes claims that machine learning and artificial intelligence will be used more than before to improve the customer experience and make useful product recommendations to customers. Based on algorithms, algorithms will be utilized to assess everything from the risk of credit applicants to forecasting consumer behavior. AI will enable organizations to save time by handling routine operations like FAQs through a chatbox, giving staff more time for more taxing jobs. By combining AI and machine learning, businesses will be able to provide customers with better service while increasing employee productivity. Conclusion Fintech is receiving a lot of funding at the present, and startups are spending a lot of time and Money coming up with innovative strategies to make accessing finance simpler, faster, and less expensive. Banks' desire to eliminate the intermediary, the bank, in some payments is one of the primary reasons they are investing so much in fintech. For instance, users can utilize their computers or smartphone instead of transferring money through a bank's system. By doing this, they regain some control over their funds, but banks also lose some of that power. Additionally, emerging technologies like blockchain and artificial intelligence may fundamentally alter how we handle our money and how we make purchases, thus fintech companies will receive even more funding in the years to come. Do you like this video? Submit your feedback in our comments section below.
and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos.